Okay, before I start today's update guide for Emulation Station Desktop Edition, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, Just Jamie. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it also helps out my channel too. So a little while back, just over a month ago, I released a new update video to tell you of a new release or a new stable release for ESDE or that's Emulation Station Desktop Edition. Now, less than 24 hours ago, we have got a brand new update, and this is currently version 3.0.3. Now, a very significant part of this is for Android. So, if we actually check out the changelog of this new stable release of ESDE, we're going to find lots of new changes just here. So, like I just said, for Android users, this is going to be a dream come true. We got lots of new support features there for Android users. So many, I can't even speak about these. So you have to read through these yourself, but trust me, it's very good news. Now on desktop edition for Windows, obviously, we've got lots of new features added, such as background changes, updates to themes, and lots of other things going on there. We've also got some bug fixes. So for example, the texture size was sometimes calculated incorrectly for the video element when using the crop size property. So take a look through there, but like I said, without a doubt, this is an absolute significant update for Android users. Everything ranging from support from Texas Instruments to Acorn Computers, BBC Micro. So yes, this is the update that Android users using ESDE really wanted. So anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss our upcoming retro emulation content. I'm not actually going to do a setup guide for this release, but I'm going to leave my main ultimate beginner's guide in the description and I'll also put it in the comments so if you're new to ESDE for Windows click on the link which is going to be pinned or go in the description and you can get up and running with one of the best upcoming retro emulation front end systems around so anyways join me on social media I'm on Facebook Instagram Twitter and TikTok but until next time stay retro